There aren't a lot of rose hips left. I've processed three batches so far. Just to give you an idea of how it looks on the actual rose shrub. It's not ready to pick. When they're pale, they're just coming on. You want to pick the dark red rose hips. There's a nice patch of rose hips. They're just about ready to pick. The chickens participate by eating the Japanese beetles off the plants. I'll go over and shake the plant when there's flowers and the beetles will drop off. So my chicken's waiting. Here's some of the smaller rose hips. The particular varieties that I have of Rosa ragusa produce two different sizes. This is the largest size of rose hip, and then this is the little small size. It's a kind of a two person job. First thing you need to do is get some of the seeds out at least. The seeds are poisonous so you do not want to ingest them. And uh, the easiest thing to do is just kind of carve it out with a knife. And then we put them in water. And I've found the easiest way to get the rest of the seeds out is to just use your finger now. I know that sounds a little bit weird but it just works the most efficiently. And there's kind of a membrane inside. And when they dry, it kind of comes out anyway. And you're left with the, basically the outer shell. It's the part that you're going to eat. Then, after I get the seeds out, then I just put them in a dry bowl for couple of minutes and then I will put them on the paper towel on a cookie sheet to drip dry. It takes about a week just open air then you have these little shriveled up pieces 